Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this, another brand new day. Yes, indeed, I actually thought about starting things just by saying hi, and then talking about how, while it's good to come up with something that's, you know, like a catchphrase, and it's, it's good to come up with the recognizable phrases, and in fact, YouTube itself, one of the things in their creator content guidelines says come up with a catchphrase come up with something so that, with a standard greeting so that you can engage with your audience get them used to the this sort of thing so on the one hand yeah you know everything ow now there's something in my eye that's special everything says hey do this sort of thing but on the other hand at the same time throwing a handful of sand into the gears is actually a good idea at times because it it that shock makes you relook at things with slightly different eyes and that's a good thing so i've been thinking so i i may stick with my current greeting i may do something else i mean i watch other people's videos and i pay attention to this sort of thing there's this one fellow does short videos about politics mainly but he lives in like uh, I think it's the panhandle of Florida and he talks about leftist stuff and how to approach people that are heavy Trump people and what to do and I that's just what he does he's like a combat vet and he he trains like police officer types and it's it's i don't know exactly what his job is but he's one of those people that he's not a drop your guns everything he's like a hey you know uh the only thing really stopping our government is guns so gun control is nice but don't get rid of them that sort of thing but his thing is you know he starts off with you know it's hey hey people it's Bo again and Ba boom you hear that and of course you know there's boogie with his coming to, to you with the power of the internet <clears throat> i watched this one person where his videos his intros are always the same go through and it's always hey hey people seth here and it's so there's you know and hi all scott here if you're scott scotty the was so there's nothing wrong with having the same thing it's recognizable so i don't know it took me a while to come up with a greeting that i have so maybe i'll just stick with it howdy 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 <laughs> and hey now i did not go walkies last night it's still raining i mean it's not raining now for a while i think it's like damp and wet from rain out there but it's not raining right now but it was raining all day yesterday and so I just didn't go walkies because number one, I'd gone walkies the day before. Number two, I'm still feeling, uh, not really sick. But first thing that happens when I get up is my sinuses fill up. And then I blow my nose and blow my nose and blow my nose every time I turn around. So I got that. My throat is slightly, just ever so slightly, why air quotes, is slightly, ever so slightly sore. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. Worse, of course, when I have to partake of cannabis products because smoke is irritating to your lungs and your throat tissues in the first place. And now my tissues are irritated because of whatever and so that doesn't help and my lungs I'm coughing kind of coffee and kind of wheezy <sighs> more than I, I like but at the same time I slept great last night and I didn't even take any drugs I mean I everything you eat is a drug a drug just has to affect you in some fashion foods you eat affect you in some fashion potatoes affect you when you eat them everything you eat is effectively a drug we legally classify some things as drugs or not drugs because of a legal system 
but everything you eat affects you. It's just that these things affect you quite strongly, quite quickly. Very minute amounts. So I had, didn't take anything like melatonin or, you know, the brand name is Benadryl, but it's like dihyphenol some, it's weird, but it's the Benadryl stuff. I didn't take anything like that. I just went to bed and I actually put an earplug in this ear thinking, hey, maybe it was like loud. And if I just block off one ear, because I tried to sleep mostly on my left side because I can't sleep on my back. Because if I do, I, I'm going to require medical assistance to get up. It's just my legs go numb and my back hurts so much. I can't lay on my stomach. Excuse me because my neck doesn't turn far enough I can, I can lay on my right side for a while but my spine curves to the side just enough so that if I'm facing this way and my spine is bent so that if I lay on my right side it's like a, a plate trying to be forced downward and it hurts so I got one side I can really sleep on, but if you sleep on one side for too long, it hurts like hell just to lay on that side. So I sleep as much as I can on my right side. Even with the earplug in this ear against the pillow and sleeping with my spine bent the wrong way and hurting, I slept about half the night on my right side and I slept for me well. For me well because it was like four hours four and a half hours of sleep that's not much but that's more than i've been getting and these days i average about four hours of sleep a night so it was nice to have that it was nice to fall asleep closer to like 12 30 ish maybe and then wake up around five ish instead of going to bed around 12.30 and waking up at one. So, that was nice. It was good to sleep. I appreciate that. Another nice thing, when I'm tidying up and such, with when I get my loose junk, what I do is I'll just put them into boxes and then I'll just have the box of loose junk. It's not a good system. That means I have loose buckets of junk everywhere and they collect and then I put them all into bigger boxes so I have just loose collections of junk inside of a big box and then I'll just like close that off and put it away when it gets too full. Not really good because I'm just taking everything that's lying around and it goes into the box and if it's something that I need and I don't get it out and can't find it, well, so one of the biggest reasons that I haven't taken any walkies videos is because I've got, I, well, I haven't even been able to find my red action cam and the Sony camera that I have here. Well, look at this. We see this a dangling off the edge, but for months and months and months and months and months and months and months, this, I didn't know where it was. It was inside of one of those boxes after I'd cleaned up and this requires a specialized USB thing to charge. So if I don't have the specialized cord to plug that into, it doesn't charge. And so it's just been dead. And I've been looking for the cord, trying to get it so I could charge it back up. Finally found it, as, as you saw. So this is now fully charged up. Let's see if I've got the SD card in it. Hey, it works. It's even got the SD card in it. So I don't have a cell phone yet, still. So the only way for me to record video is with an actual camera. I need to call 211, which in the United States pretty much is a federal thing because it, I've talked to people in like Alabama and Tennessee that they call 211 and get the same services. So I need to call them because you can apply online to get a cell phone. 
But the documentation and such that you need, I don't have available immediately. I need to talk to people. So I need to call them up and talk to them about getting a cell phone. Then I'd be able to more easily take video if I decided to do it that way instead of this way. <clears throat> so that'll be good. But the big thing about, you know, I was going to say the big thing about that and why it would be good. And now I can't remember why I was going to say that was a good thing. Why was I going to say it was a good thing? Well, anyway, that's not important. So it's, I'm, oh yeah. No, I lost it again. Darn it, it's, there's something about the process and there's something in there I want to talk about, but of course with my brain and having woke up and I'm still, even though I got more sleep and better sleep, it's still not good sleep compared to what I should be getting. So here's hoping things get gooder here with my brain soon. That would be nice. I would appreciate that if my, my brain started working much more gooder and properly. There was one other thing I was going to talk about, but as stated, because I do this, and it is so appreciated, but it's this is the bubble sort my brain, so yeah, there's days when I'm just going to be largely, huh, what the heck is going on? Why does my brain not function properly? So, there, what was the other thing I was going to talk about? It wasn't going walkies. It didn't have to do anything with money. It wasn't hamsters. I'm honestly not sure. So instead, what I'm going to do is talk about this. I really like, in the DC comics, there's this one character, Ambush Bug. I have the original comics of a lot of his original first runs of miniseries from DC Comics. And this is a character, decades before Deadpool, where he knows he's in a comic book. He knows he's in a comic book and he's come, it's a weird world and a weird place and the, the editors, he talks to the editors and the narrators and he's a part of DC canon. So he's not just a goofy character, he's a goofy character that's an actual part of the DC continuity. And he's just like I say, he knows he's in a comic book and because he understands all this stuff, he's able to do extra weird stuff, but only within the context of of his superpowers. And his superpowers are just teleportation. He has a teleportation suit. It used to be he'd have to send his little probes and then he could teleport to wherever the probes went. He was Because he's always playing and screwing around with his suit, something got messed up and it melded to him and he didn't need to use drones anymore, but he still knew he was in a comic book. So he's a smart aleck, lunatic, and with superpowers that knows he's in a comic book, has died so many times, but has knows the back door out of hell really weird but point being <clears throat> one thing i want to check out is hey you know because i've been trying to find some of the miss missing i'm missing one of the comics out of one of my run i've been trying to pick up the comics but they've had tons of trade paperbacks where they collect all the issues of such and put them together and i started thinking you know what i wonder if dc's put out ambush bug trade paperbacks they'd be fools if they didn't so I need to check that because they've had some mini series in the decade since about the character. Thumbs up for that. <clears throat> I mean, and they they've done weird stuff just to be weird stuff. I mean, one of the mini series you opened up in the first page is I mean, they use death as humorals a lot because in the first pages there's somebody it's a city scene shot with, you know, people smoking it's the dirty grubby streets and there's someone screaming in the background help help he's killing me i'm being stabbed with sharp pieces of metal no no please you know just describing being murdered with like a knife in cold clinical details all the while still calling for help but then you flip the page and it does it all over again just kind of as a alien landscape because now it's the same picture only now instead of help it's like norblep norblep i.e it's gonna go boinky boinky and it's they just did weird stuff like that all the time very very strange definitely a thumbs up a good thing i wish i could remember what the heck it was i was going to talk about though 
because as soon as I'm editing, I'm going to remember absolutely everything, which happens on a daily basis. When I'm sitting here going, gosh, you know, what am I going to talk about? And then I turn off the camera and bam, 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 they fall in line like dominoes. So, yay for that. Now, one thing I have done is I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people. <laughs> Excuse me for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now, except accidentally through peripheral vision. If I do happen to answer a comment through that fashion, I'm going to try and post the comment on the screen so that you can see what I'm reacting to. But in general, that doesn't happen. There's no whether it's a good comment, bad comment, a different comment, left me a comment. Thank you so much. I'm going to try afterward to read as many as I can, thumbs up those I do, answer as many as I can. But for right now, just thank you for having expended the calories to have left me a comment. <coughs> How irritating. And of course, if I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and it is a range of 20 to 25, because even though I count American Sign Language... <coughs> Good Lord. On the fingers of this hand, etc., etc., let's just get that all done with. Casper the Friendly Ghost Blatz, thank you very, very much. And Fingus, greatly appreciated. Mr. House Loves the Nets, son of a gun. Coochie Patchy Paul, thank you very, very much. And Kathy Kitzkat, greatly appreciated. Skills78, thumbs up and thank you. Zomageddon, greatly appreciated. Bruce Wayne, thumbs up and thank you. Don Catton, Dan Cotton, <laughs> I've gotten that backwards, how bizarre. And Schlarber Garnub, thank you very, very much. And Mosh Fee Khan, greatly appreciated. Glenn Johnson, thumbs up and thank you. Robin Clark, greatly appreciated. Sean Chef, smoke weed every day. I will miss you though, greatly appreciated. And Steffi CS, greatly appreciated. Blaze, B-L-V-I-Z-E. <laughs> and Paladin William, <coughs> greatly appreciated. Colin Reisner, thumbs up and Thank you. Ultra Saiyan, S A Y A J I N, thank you so very much. Sunny Clips, thumbs up and thank you. Mika Mach 5, always good to see you in the comments. Marcus Holland, greatly appreciated. Conspo Lopez, thumbs up and thank you. And last but not least, Marilee Cachero, good to see you in the comments as well. Definitely a thumbs up. Hopefully, on Thursday or Friday, because I can't remember the exact day I'm supposed to go in, when I get my upper plate relined, it will actually fit because right now it's only holding on here the rest of the place is like over here it's not my tissues have been resorbed enough that it's it not connecting and so it's hanging weirdly in my mouth and moving and putting stressors on it where it shouldn't and it i'm slurring around it very very badly because of that hopefully when i get it relined it'll fit better and i won't be slurring as much and hey, if you can check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorSetus.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a... <coughs> <laughs> become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you can toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence, a definite thumbs up. And if you can subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool, greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Thumbs up for that. So I've got this video today. I've got to figure out some kind of video to do for later. I still need to get another song mutilation done. Nobody's breaking down my door for me to do it. In fact, probably everyone's been relieved that I haven't been doing them lately, but I really enjoy them. So here's hoping I can get one done. Checking the time out of the corner of my eye from my webcam software. One thing I wanna do more often just to check on the actual impact of the software is to use my my HD, my Elgato capture card. I've barely used it and they don't even make the one I have anymore. It's been discontinued. So I need to hurry up and use it more. 
Hopefully I'll get that done. But you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend. And that is a very good thing. Definitely.